Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I've kind of uh, been messing around with WA2012 strips uh, the last few weeks, kind of making little projects, not really big enough to make a little, big whole project of each one. So far, I'll just kind of cram some together now and just uh, show you what I've kind of been working on. The first one is I've kind of been using, testing out different strips, uh, different patterns, different colors, and I kind of wanted something that was easy to program because I made uh, this at Christmas, which was the um, 80 tiny 85 bauble hanging from, which was all right. You had to program it with um, using a clip programmer, which like clips over the top of the chip, which is annoying to program. It's all right if you do like a one thing where you're just programming once and that's it. But if you want to over and over again, try different patterns and stuff out, I wanted something that was easy <coughs> and that would quick quick programming. Um, the USB is just for power. It's basically powered with an 80 tiny 85. I with this one, I have three uh, a three position switch to have different switches. So basically, have three different patterns. I wanted to increase the uh, more patterns you can have, but I only had four pins available. So I kind of was like, oh wait, if I have a dip switch, that that's four. It's one more than this. Uh, but then also I was thinking, wait a minute, because this one is a three position switch. It always has to be in an on position at some point. But with this, there's basically on and off four different ones. You know, it's binary. I locked it up. You can have 15 unique different positions. So that means you have 15 different um, um, modes put into it with only four, only four switches, which I was, I was like quite, uh, you know, quite impressed with. I thought there'd be, you know, because you kind of think, well, this can be all off, they can be all on, and then they can be individual, individual ones on. So that's like six. So I was like, yeah, you could probably get quite a few, but I was quite astounded when I looked it up. Um, yeah, it's basically got the output is a header so that you can plug it straight into a strip. No messing about, because this one I think had the wrong pin out, so to, I made a little adapter to adapt it between. Obviously with the USB, you're limited to power, but my strips are very quite short anyway, so they're quite, um, they're only running a couple of meter strips and you know, you get a you know two amps out of a um, a power bank. I also made this little tiny board, which is the same width and the same thickness as a WS2812. So you could put it into, say, if you had like a channel to run in, it basically would be the same thickness. And the reason I did that, got away with that, is because I hung the uh, 80 tiny 85 underneath, so it basically hangs from its feet into that recess. So it's like super tiny. I wish I had one made up to show you about having I check out one but this is basically a little tiny board and then that's obviously got the same pin out as that <clears throat> you can't there's any you know there's no switches on this so it only has one mode built into it but if you want to just like light something up a certain color or you want something in a certain way like you know you put it into like a small space or you just want to hide it somehow it'd be quite nice um I also added <clears throat> a, a strip to my light box that I take my photos in that you can hook it up and you can take your photos in different colors if you want so you can just uh, or different like patterns or whatever it, it does work quite well it doesn't really work that well on camera but when you're taking the photos it does completely engulf the uh, photos uh, there's another project as well that I was kind of working on which kind of this kind of spurred on, which was a bit of a joke project. I could, I wish I could show you photos of it, but I can't. Um, I basically underlit my rolling toolbox in work with uh, LED strip. Basically, it looked like a Fast and Furious uh, neons under, you know, underneath the cabinet. It's good for a laugh. People are just like, just cannot quite get their head around it. But you know, I thought it was just a bit of a funny joke. But it kind of did spur this project on, so you know. All, uh, I'm always game for a laugh, <laughs> but yeah, as usual, there'll be um, a blog post with these this board, uh, which is just this board. It's got the nice ISP header, so it can quickly um, use your USB tiny just to quickly flash the code. A nice little 3D printed case as well, which has got like an in, um, it's kind of a new thing I tried out, which was like a integrated switch because normally I'd have like the switch separately. And it'll just kind of float above the actual switch. But with this, it's actually built into the case, so there's no fiddly, um, and it's all dust clips together as well, so there's no actual fastness for it. So it's just a 100% 3D printed case, which is quite nice. But yeah, as usual, we blog post with um, this board, 
and this board in there. So yeah, and there are 3D printed files. So yeah, as usual, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.